I want to be able to see all of the way up here, from all the way down here. That's a distance of over 400 meters and I want to be able to do it wirelessly. So what is it that I'm so keen to see that's up here? Well, this is one of our two intakes for our micro hydro system. And sometimes I just don't feel like coming all the way up here to make sure it's okay. Especially if it's raining, it's snowing, it's too hot, it's too cold, or any of the in-between. Now, you know I'm just joking. I love it up here, really. But let's go down to the workshop and see what solution we've come up with to solve this problem. So this is a remote camera I've designed using parts you can buy off the internet yourself, pre-made libraries that you're able to install that have already been written. And let's have a look at why I chose this. This is a Fire Beetle ESP32 board S3. And the reason I chose it is because when you purchase it, it comes with everything you're gonna need for this project already. So you can see there's a camera on it there. You just put that in that slot there. It comes with an antenna. And what's really useful for this is it comes with the charge controller pre-built in, which means we can just plug a battery straight in and a solar panel and it'll just charge on its own. But we can't use it like this. It's gonna get wet and fried pretty quickly. So let's go and assemble the case we've designed and then we'll go and install it up the hill.
So that's the hardware ready, but we're going to need to set up the software. So we're just going to be able to download a few libraries and install it and it's going to work first time, right? Almost. We don't have to write any code, <laughs> but we're going to have to take a few other steps. So we need to set up the board, load the standard ESP32 camera library, download this, replace the code with this, enter your details, set a static IP address, all while remembering to hold boot and pressing reset before uploading. Oh, no wonder I can't breathe. Wow. I don't pretend to be an expert on this, so I've just copied what I've done here. It works on my board. If you want to download that, it's in the description. Good luck. So those of you who are into this kind of thing will have already spotted the problem I'm about to come across. There's no way we're going to get Wi-Fi all the way from there to up here. Or can we? So the thing about Wi-Fi is that it has limited range and we're trying to cover a distance of 400 meters which is far above that normal range. Now there are two most common types of frequency bands which are 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz. 5 GHz will reach 15 meters, 2.4 GHz will reach 45 meters. However, they spread the internet out evenly. If you're able to focus that internet, you're able to send it much further. So if you swap this standard antenna for this directional antenna, then we should be able to connect to the camera up the hill. Nice. So this is a bit of a proof of concept for me. We've got a couple of projects that I'd like to be able to view remotely, such as the wind turbine, and I'm also working on the design of a um, self-starting siphon at the minute. So I wanted to do this project to just prove the concept worked. And it does, but it's a bit intermittent, and I think that's due to the distance that we're trying to do this over. So a couple of points for those of you who'd like to try and attempt this at home. Number one, you're gonna to wanna to route it that you can adjust the antenna settings Neither of these you can do that with. Number two, as you've probably seen, the image quality is kind of rubbish. So if you're going to want to see any detail, you might want to do a different project. And finally, number three, we managed to do it without the correct router because we had a clear unobstructed line of sight. If you have any obstructions that you're going to be working through, your mileage may vary. And by the way, this cost me 30 quid. It's not bad, is it? If you like this project, you'd like to come see more projects like this, come join us. Be nice to have you here. We'll see you in the next one.